So how do you become a full-time freelance illustrator? Even if you're starting from scratch, even if you have no idea what you're doing, no experience, no portfolio, keep watching. Hello everyone. Welcome to our business with Ness. I am Ness and I'm a professional illustrator. Today is the day I'm finally opening the doors to my art business bootcamp level three course. I know, I know it's been over a year since the level two. I swear I was working on it so hard. It's a big, big program and it's totally worth it. And this is the last course of the art business bootcamp. That's it. Level three is the last one. So for the first time, I'm able to offer the art business bootcamp as a whole, all three levels together, like it was always intended. When you go to the entire art business bootcamp, we will start from the beginning with no experience, no nothing, and work your way up all the way to full-time illustrator, step by step along with me. So how is that even possible? Skeptical? Well, I want to give you an overview of my method so that you can see if this is something that you would like learning. And even if you don't plan to join the Art Business Bootcamp, still keep watching. It will be nice to have an overview of the steps that you can take there. It can give you some clarity. It can give you some direction, even if you don't want to go through the bootcamp to have the details on each step. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right into it and go into the steps to become an illustrator. Step number one choose your specialty. I talk a lot on this channel about the importance of specializing in a single illustration market and drawing in a consistent signature style. I talk about it a lot because it is so, so important to your success as a freelance illustrator. And it's one step that many of us really struggle with. Specializing feels very restrictive. We are free spirits. Many artists simply refuse to do it point blank or even if they do want to specialize they're not sure where to start or how to choose but when we're not specialized artists will often feel very overwhelmed trying to do everything and please everyone which is impossible so specializing isn't really restrictive in fact once you choose a specialty you will see doors start opening for you. Art directors will start taking notice of you and you will find it easier to convince them to give you work. And that's because by narrowing your focus to a single illustration market, you will be able to showcase your skills in that market a lot better and you will be seen as an expert in your field that is much more attractive to art directors than a jack of all trades. For all those reasons, choosing a specialty is like turning down the difficulty level of your art career by several notches. And I'm a big fan of that. That's why we start the Art Business Bootcamp Level 1 by going over all the different illustration markets, they may be a lot more than you think, and helping you figure out which one is right for you. At this stage, I like to have a lot of one-on-one -on -one conversations with the students to really help them figure out what is right for them, because this is really so important. Step number two, create your 12 piece portfolio plan. Once you've chosen where you want to focus your attention, it's time to create your amazing portfolio. For illustrators, our portfolio is the foundation of our career. It's like our resume and it's what every single potential client will look at before deciding if they want to hire us or not. That's why it's really crucial to spend a significant amount of time to really nailing your portfolio before you start contacting clients. You want to showcase the exact right skills that you need in this specific market and wow your potential clients with gorgeous and well thought out artwork. This is a tall order and it is quite a lot of work to build your portfolio, but you might be happy to learn that you only need 12 pieces of artwork to get started. If you complete one per week, you could be done in three months and ready to start contacting clients. In order to help you build the perfect portfolio, I have this workbook that I call the 12 piece portfolio plan. It's an eight step process that will help you make sure that you're planning your portfolio well 
and that you're creating a portfolio that checks all of the boxes. Step number three, build your professional website. After you have your 12 beautiful pieces of artwork, it's time to create a website where you can display them professionally. Unfortunately, just displaying your artwork on an Instagram or a Behance or even a PDF file just isn't going to cut it. In the illustration industry, a website is considered the standard and you really need one in order to get your foot in the door. If you don't have one, it will look really weird, like someone who's trying to apply for jobs without a resume. I personally find this a little bit harsh, but the truth is if you don't have a personal website, you will look unprofessional or unprepared. Fortunately, nowadays, it's very easy to make a website. There are many different tools that can help you create a website from scratch without needing to learn how to code or anything like that. And best of all, it doesn't cost an arm and a leg anymore. It's actually very affordable. The keys to a great portfolio website is ease of navigation, a clean minimalistic look that really focuses on the art and great supporting pages that showcase your other professional skills you know everything else other than your beautiful art things that make you look like someone who's professional and pleasant to work with so in the art business bootcamp we have several lessons dedicated to how to build a website from scratch things like how to write an about page and how to best display your work we also have two full line tutorials of website building tools where in those lessons, I take you step by step to the creation of a portfolio website so that you can replicate the process. I do one full tutorial for each of my two favorite website services. They are affordable and easy to use and that's why I recommend them. And at the end of these tutorials, you'll be able to put together your own super easily just by following along. Step number four, set up your business legally. This is the last step before you are ready to start looking for clients. You have to make sure that you're ready to start getting those payments because when money starts coming in, taxes and other fun things start coming into play. So in this step, make sure that you're ready to accept payments, maybe create a PayPal account and things like that. Make sure that your business is set up legally in your country and that you know how to track the information that you need to track for taxes. Of course, I'm not a professional accountant, but in the Art Business Bootcamp level one, I will give you tips for how you can ask the right questions and consult with the right people so that you get familiar with tax law in your area. I will also help you put together a real business plan so that you know what your goals are and your path going forward. Step number five, find clients. This is a super exciting step. This is where you finally start getting clients and getting some money in. People are surprised usually that this is as late as step number five, but it's important to lay down strong foundations so that you are successful at finding clients. Many artists jump straight to trying to find clients and then get discouraged when it doesn't work out, but it's because they hadn't laid down all that foundation work beforehand. So how do you find work? Well, there are many different ways that you can do that. But one of the guiding principles of my method is making sure that artists have actual control over the work that they get. That's why I don't focus a lot on passive methods like posting on Instagram and waiting for clients to approach us. Instead, I teach how you can approach clients yourself so you can get work whenever you need work. This is much more efficient than waiting around. I recommend emailing art directors directly to offer them your services. And what is great is you can do that wherever you are in the world. You can email any art director in any country. So if you're worried about the fact that there isn't much illustration work in your country, don't worry about that. You can contact companies in the US, in the UK, in Canada, wherever you want. Putting yourself out there like this really can be very nerve wracking at first, I understand, but it is so, so worth it and it does get easier with time. In illustration, fortune really does favor the brave. I've known so many amazingly talented artists that never really got their illustration career started and never seemed to be able to find work just because they're too scared to hit up art directors themselves. And on the other hand, I've known some less skilled illustrators that are just not shy at all and go out there and kick down doors 
and they've been able to create amazing careers for themselves just because they put themselves out there. And don't worry, I won't let you do this all alone. In the Art Business Bootcamp Level 2, we spend two entire lessons on how to contact art directors, the different methods to do so, and exactly what to say. I even give you my swipe files so that you can copy paste my most successful emails. And then following up after that and being persistent is just as important as that initial query. So I also teach you how to follow up and how to establish a recurring pitching schedule. Step number six, negotiate your contracts. Finding your first client is really exciting, but what do you do once you got them on the hook? I get questions from artists all the time who tell me a client approached me for a contract and I have absolutely no idea what to do. Help! So it's really important to know what you're getting into before you actually get into it. A lot of research is necessary at this step so that you can figure out how the industry works, what clients expect, how to negotiate how to deal with copyrights and intellectual property, how to price your work, and of course, a doozy, how to deal with the whole contract thing. So lots of research, but the easiest way to find all of that out is just to hop into the Art Business Bootcamp where I will teach you everything that I've learned over several years in the industry. It took me so many years and so many mistakes to really start feeling comfortable in the industry. So I'm really happy to be able to help speed that up for my students. Apart from sharing all of my industry knowledge, I also have some pretty cool bonuses in the Art Business Bootcamp. For instance, I have my pricing worksheets so that you can figure out exact numbers for different projects. My negotiation swipe files so you know exactly what to say depending on multiple scenarios and even my contract template. Step number seven, dazzle your clients. This is where the level three bootcamp starts. So this is all new material starting from here. One of the most important things in order to be able to go full time is to start getting repeat clients. Because let's be real, doing company research, sending queries, negotiating contract every single time, that takes a lot of time. Having to start over from scratch every time you have a new contract that's not really efficient. Instead, using some of your past clients to give you some more new work, that's a lot better. So we want to build some long-term relationships with our past clients so they can come back to us time and time again. But how do we do that? First of all, we need to really do a great job so they even want to work with us again. Things like great communication, having a smooth work process so that everything goes so well taking uh, feedback really, really well and professionally, hitting all the deadlines, you know, things like that. But also at the end of a gig, then you need a system in place to be able to keep them in your sphere of influence instead of just letting them go once the gig is over. That system is a mailing list or a newsletter. And in the Art Business Bootcamp Level 3, I will teach you exactly how you can build that up, set up that tech, so that you're ready to start sending newsletters. Step number eight, automate and delegate. At this point in the process, if you've come this far, you must have noticed that you're required to wear a lot of hats and everything takes so much time to do, all that marketing, all that admin. But at this point of the process, it's time to start simplifying those processes and taking some stuff off of your plate so you have more time for the art part. That's where automating or delegating comes into play. There are a lot of tools that you can use in your day-to-day -day activities to make everything run smoother, such as a social media scheduler or accounting software. Some of these tools and services are paid, but at this point of your career, it's important to liberate that time as much as possible so you have more time to work on the art, your billable hours. It's harder to justify those costs at the very beginning of your career, but once you've started to get some clients in, it's really time to make things more efficient, even if you have to spend a little bit of money on it. If you think about it, maybe you're charging something like $60 per hour or $75 per hour when you're doing art. So if you work five, six hours doing admin things just to save you $10 on an app that could do it, 
you're actually wasting a lot of money. And one of the biggest things that you can delegate is part of your whole marketing and pitching by getting an agent. An agent can find some of your work for you in exchange for a commission percentage of your earnings. It's really wonderful to work with an agent. I've worked with two in the past myself. But the thing is, I have noticed that agents are getting more and more competitive to get into each and every year. So in the Art Business Bootcamp Level 3, I teach you everything that I know about agents from my own experience and what you can do to help beat the competition and snag your perfect agent. I'm sharing with you my list of 60 plus agents that you can try out with. And I'm also sharing all the tools and apps that I love using in my own business to save me time. And finally, the last step, step number nine, diversify your income. Last but not least, the final step is to create more income stream for your art business. Freelance illustration is a great career, but when you're self-employed, your income is always susceptible to ups and downs. There are always slow periods here and there, such as the summer, for instance, always very slow, or the winter holidays. And of course, it's also not rare to have some downtime between projects. For a lot of people, the thing that will make them feel really comfortable enough to quit their day job and do art full-time is having more stability with their financial situation. This is something that you can achieve through different income streams in your art business. And you don't need a million different income streams, just freelance and one other income stream already create a very stable base. If one of them is a bit down for whatever reason, the other income stream can pick up the slack. It feels really reassuring to not have all of your eggs in one basket in case something happens. I know that during the beginning of the pandemic, I started freaking out a little bit because all of my freelance contracts suddenly paused while the publishers were figuring out what to do. And so at first I was really worried that I was just not going to be paid during that time. But then my Etsy shop ended up doing record revenue during those first few months where everyone was stuck inside in lockdown. So it turned out that I didn't have any problems at all during those months, but that's because I had my Etsy shop to help support my business. Just some of the income streams that can be great for us as artists are commissions, art shops, Patreon memberships, print on demand, or teaching. Building a new income stream from scratch is no easy task though. You're basically building a whole new business. You can't just go about it half heartedly. In fact, I've tried that in the past and whenever I did this sort of as a last minute thing, it never really worked well. In order to make actual sales, your business needs to be viable and to be planned carefully. This is really a big subject. Basically in step number nine, there's like 10 sub steps. It's a, it's a big, big subject. So I'm going to do a separate video on that next week where I'm going to explain the main steps to open an art shop. Choosing the right income stream for you that works well within your existing freelance illustration gig is really, really important. And then once you've decided what you want to do, you can start developing your brand and your product. It's such a big subject that half of all the level three lessons, so eight lessons out of 16 total lessons, are devoted to building your entire new art business. One crucial aspect to building a new business from the ground up is solid marketing bases. And I know that for us artists, marketing is something that a lot of us hate, but a lot of the time it's just because we don't know much about it. We have focused so much time on getting our art skills up to par that many of us have neglected the marketing side, but this is something that you can learn and I'm happy to be the one to teach you. So in the level three bootcamp, I'm giving you a full education in marketing so that you feel really prepared and comfortable to launch your business. When you do this right, you will be launching to a crowd of impatient fans and you won't have any trouble making sales month to month. I will be teaching you the very same marketing strategies that all of your favorite shops use every day. 
So there you are. These are the nine steps to build your illustration career from beginning to end. Even if you don't want to get the course, this is still a very solid roadmap that you can follow step by step. But if you want to fast track your success, avoid costly mistakes along the way and reach your goals faster, then I would be more than happy to teach you in the Art Business Bootcamp and accompany you in your illustration journey. Plus, it's so much more fun when we do it together with me and with all the other students. The motivation and inspiration is real. This energy is really unmatched. The last bootcamp, the level three, has just opened for pre-orders. The doors will be open just one week, but during that time, you can get 50% off. The level three bootcamp is the biggest one yet. So the regular price will be $597, but with the pre-order price, you can get in for just $297. And now that the level three is finally available for the first time, I'm able to offer the art business bootcamp all together as it was intended. All three levels together that will paint the exact roadmap for you to build your illustration career from start to finish. If you were to purchase all three courses at the regular price, it would come out nearly $1,200. However, this week only, I'm offering a major discount and it's your chance to purchase the entire Art Business Bootcamp for just $799. That's a discount of $400. And this is a course that truly pays for itself by allowing you to get more illustration work faster. Just ask my students. This is Arlo. Arlo signed up for the Art Business Bootcamp Level 1 and only three months later finished his portfolio and got signed with an illustration agency. Congrats, Arlo. This is Chikako. Chikako is a level one and level two alumni and she's been doing so well. She's gotten a lot of work in editorial and picture book. Recently, she sent me this message. Her new book has just came out and it looks amazing. And she recently increased her prices with a past client and they accepted her new price. Congratulations. And this is a lovely message that I got very recently from Emily Vasquez, a new art business bootcamp level two student. She used my methods and some of my email templates that are included with the course to transform a no reply into a new contact with a very, very promising interaction. That's so exciting. These are just a few recent examples of the successes that my students have had. If you're interested to get the same results, join us in the Art Business Bootcamp. You only have one week to join at this all-time low price of $799. This gets you level one, level two, and level three, the complete roadmap. This offer will expire on March 12th, the same day that the pre-order for the level three course ends. So if you want to get in, hurry up. I will leave the links in the description below, both for the entire Art Business Bootcamp bundle and also just for the level three if you wanted to just get that one. Take the plunge and invest in yourself and your future. I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.